Arthur. This is a story about Arthur, a proud tank engine. He arrived on the island of Sodor with a spotless record, but soon found himself in a sticky situation. Arthur the big tank engine had just arrived on the island of Sodor. It was his first day at work on the Fat Controllers Railway. I must be on time, I must be on time, Arthur worried as he chuffed through the countryside. He didn't want to be late. Right on time, smiled the Fat Controller. This is Arthur. He will help you shunt trucks and pull freight. Nice to meet you, said Arthur politely. And he's got a spotless record, said the Fat Controller. What's a spotless record, whispered Percy. It means he's never done anything naughty, Thomas frowned. At Brenham Docks, the three engines were soon working together. Thomas and Percy knew that they weren't supposed to bump trucks, but it was such fun. Join in, Arthur, laughed Thomas. No, thank you, said Arthur quietly. He didn't want to spoil his spotless record. Arthur's first job was to push a line of trucks to the market. He coupled up behind the trucks which were loaded up with crates of fruit. The trucks, though, were not behaving themselves and sang songs to tease Arthur. Root toot toe, come on, let's go. The fruit's going mouldy cause you're too slow. How rude, huffed Arthur. The truck singing gave Thomas a naughty idea. The fat controller doesn't like the trucks to sing, said Thomas. You must tell them to stop. Thank you, Thomas, said Arthur. I will. Arthur puffed steadily out of the docks. The trucks will cause trouble for Arthur if they're not allowed to sing, laughed Thomas. Arthur was chuffing cheerfully through the countryside when the trucks began to sing again. Chug, chug, chuff, you tug and puff, but you're too slow and you've got no puff. No singing, said Arthur firmly. It may be my first day, but I won't fall for your tricks. The troublesome trucks were cross. If Arthur won't let us sing, one truck whispered, we'll teach him a lesson, chimed the others. Troublesome trucks put on their brakes and made their wheels screech and squeak along the tracks. Arthur struggled over bridges and he huffed and puffed through tunnels. When poor Arthur puffed to the top of Gordon's Hill, the trucks whooshed down the other side, laughing all the way. Suddenly, Arthur's driver spotted a red signal at the bottom of the hill. He put on the brakes. But Arthur couldn't stop in time. Fruits of all shapes and sizes from the troublesome trucks flew into the air and landed splat, splot, splat all over Arthur. Arthur was terribly sad. It was his first day on the Fat Controllers Railway and his spotless record was ruined. Soon the Fat Controller arrived. What has happened here, he said grossly. The trucks were singing, said Arthur. I told them to stop, but they pushed me too fast. Please, sir, it's my fault, said Thomas sadly. He told the Fat Controller what he had done. Your spotless record is still spotless, Arthur. The Fat Controller said, Thomas, clear up this mess at once. Soon Harvey arrived with a breakdown crane and lifted Arthur back onto the rails. Thomas stayed behind to help the workmen clear the track. It took a very long time to clear up the sticky mess. By the time Thomas puffed slowly home, it was dark. When Thomas arrived at Tidmouth Sheds, Arthur's crew had cleaned the squashed fruit from his funnel. Arthur looked spotless and sparkled from buffer to dome. I'm sorry I played a trick on you, said Thomas. That's all right, said Arthur. Thank you for telling the truth. Well, I never had a spotless record to ruin, smiled Thomas. From that moment, the engines knew they would become the best of friends. The End